what I'm going to do today uh, is share what I did which led to me sharing that why would I continue to uh, buy CCT so today's 9th Feb I had a oppor quick opportunity to share uh, my take on CCT and CMT which in May 2020 if the agreement goes through uh, how would I know how should I take my steps or behave as an investor because right now I have uh, vested interest in Capital Commercial Trust so before you continue to proceed uh, please do your own due diligence okay? practice independent thinking what I'm going to do today uh, is share what I did which led to me sharing that why would I continue to uh, buy CCT in or increase my stake in CCT when I buy REITs I'm buying for the yields thus if you're not buying REITs for yields right this video don't don't suit you okay uh, you can just skip but if you are thinking of how to perhaps if your own REIT has a merger and you are looking for dividends here's what I'll do so we head straight into the Excel file I think I, I, I think I wrote large root price here stock uh, market price right market price and I last know that CMT was at 245 I remember, right CMT share price yeah 245 2.45 and CCT currently is at uh, 2.04 so the joint announcement says that here every CCT share that you own you get 0 0.72 new sh units in CMT and 0 0.259 back in cash if you have been to the boot camp so therefore you know this thing called share price less cash okay and we know that you're going to get back 26, uh, around 26 cents, 0.259, yeah, yeah, 0.259. So, effect the effective share price, right, would be this minus this. If you buy the CCT share at a lower price right now, in fact, it lowers your effective price. So, let's just assume that we are buying at 2.04. What I need to do next is because I'm buying you, uh, buying for dividend use, right. I did a quick assumption is the dividend going forward going to be sustainable right I need to make some assumptions so what I did is that I went over to the uh, full year results and I look for the thing called uh, this one distribution to uni holders oh uh, sorry that's the fourth quarter so I need to scroll to the bottom so you see that CMT paid out 384 315,000 to Okay, so I write three eight four three one five one two three. Then for Capital Commercial Trust, we saw that they give out three five three seven four four three five three seven four four one two three million. Okay, I want to find out what is my dividend per share. So I need to find number of shares, number of shares, and I'll go back to the report. I look for the number of units. That both reads have issued uh, but I need to make sure that I convert it to a uh, CMT right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, never mind I just write it here uh, three eight five seven six eight five nine oh eight right and there's a multiplier of 0 0.72 the final effective number of shares that's going to be combined into the resultant read rank is around 2.7 billion uh, 2.77 billion right now let me go and look for cnt how many shares they have uh, yep 366804 so i want to find the total number of shares uh, which happens to be 3.6 billion plus 2.7 with this information next right what i'm going to do is that i want to find the dividend per share so this is the the total dividends is this, this, plus this. Okay, and the final dividend 
number of shares right is this plus this okay i want to find out what's the dividend per share so here this divided by this there's an assumption that the current results will continue each share is going to derive almost 11.4 cents and that's where that's where i can get to calculate my dividend yield okay, which happens to be the share divided by the effective price multiply by 100 the resultant yield will be at 6.4 i'm kind of happy with it because i know that the key intention of this amount in my investment portfolio is meant to get cash flow uh, my own tracking i remember that this u is higher than what i have been getting i feel it's undervalued to me so as long as cct share price keep falling right or keep transacting hovering out at two dollars in fact my u uh, is even higher of course backing these numbers i have my own framework of uh, selecting reads just stay all the way to the end you will see that there's a whole playlist of uh reads video that i've done i just want to document down this thing so that uh you who's watching if you find that uh it has added some value to you kindly just share with your friends who happens to be uh fellow cct or cmt shareholders may this video aid their decisions till we wait or await the egm that's going to happen in may 2020 where i either the resolution to merge passes or it gets blocked. Appreciate your time for tuning in.